Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome back to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss Unit 4 from Grade 10 Science that is Heredity Part 1 Cell Division. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and for more updates, hit the bell icon. If you want more videos related to this, please like and do share this video among your friends and also don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section. Cell division. It is a process of formation of new cells from pre-existing cells. The major steps of cell division are interkinesis or interface which is the resting phase in between the two successive cell divisions. Second one is cardiokinesis, which is the division of nucleus. And third one is cytokinesis, which is division of cytoplasm. There are two types of cell division in, li in living beings for their growth and development, growth, development and reproduction. They are direct cell division and indirect cell division. First one is direct cell division. In this cell division, Karyokinesis and cytokinesis occur simultaneously. This kind of cell division is called amitosis in which formation of spindle fibers and division of chromosomes do not take place. Next one is indirect cell division. In the cell division, karyokinesis is followed by cytokinesis. It is of two types. Uh, mitosis cell division and meiosis cell division. Mitosis cell division. Mitosis cell division. The term mitosis cell division was coined by Walter Fleming, a German biologist who discovers this type of cell division in animal cell. Mitosis is defined as the division of the cell in which a single cell divides into two daughter cells each having the equal number of chromosomes as present in the mother cell. Mitosis is also called the equational cell division because chromosomes duplicate and equally distribute into two have diploid daughter cells such that all the daughter cells have same number of chromosomes as in mother cell. It occurs in somatic or vegetative cells so it is also called somatic cell division. This type of cell division is responsible for the growth of organism. Mitosis cell division complex in three steps as described below. First one is interphase or interkinesis. The period of resting time required by a newly formed cell to be ready for the further division is called interphase or interkinesis. The cells grow into nutrients and do the metabolic processes during this phase. During this phase, they replicate DNA in their chromosomes, which is a step for the cells to prepare for further cell division. Second one is karyokinesis. In karyokinesis, a cell device is nucleus. The karyokinesis of mitosis cell division complex in the following four stages. First one is prophase, second one is metaphase, third one is anaphase, and uh, finally fourth one is telophase. Prophase. Prophase is the most active uh, and the longest phase of mitosis cell division. In, in prophase, chromosomes shorten, coil, and divide into particles, number of visible chromosomes. Nuclear membrane begins to degenerate, which leads to the disappearance of the nucleus. Centrosomes separate the two centrioles present in the animal cell and the formation of spindle fibers begins uh, between them. At the end of this stage, chromosomes make their duplicate but the chromatids remain attached to the kinetochore. Kinetochore it is a rounded structure at the central mirror of chromosome. We can see the prophase stage in the diagram as well. Next one is 
metaphase the major changes that occur in the metaphase of mitosis cell division uh, is given below first one nucleus disappears completely chromosomes becomes very short but thicker by their condensation centrioles reach the poles of the cell and the formation of e spindle is completed Centrosomes come at the equator and attach with the spindle fibers facing their arms to the poles and centromere at the equator plane as shown in the figure. Chromosomes lie along the equator plane or the metaphase plate. Next one is anaphase. The major changes that occur during anaphase of mitosis cell division are given below. First one, each chromosome is spread into two due to the contraction force of the spindle fibers. So we can see that in a diagram as well. Separated chromatids move towards the poles. DNA of cell divides into two equal halves. At the end of this phase, the spindle fibers disappear and chromosome reaches the poles. Third one is telophase. Telophase is the reverse stage of prophase. The major changes that in the telophase of mitosis cell division are given below. Two the diploid the daughter nuclei are formed by the regeneration of nuclear membrane, which can be uh, seen in the figure as well. Cell is rehydrated. Chromosomes begin to uncoil and change into chromatin network. Each centrioles forms its copy and two complete centromeres are formed. Then the cell is followed by cytokinesis. We can see in diagram as well, two daughter nuclei are formed, uh, one at each pole. Centrosome is also divided, nuclear membrane reappears, nucleolus reappears, sister chromatin is on coil and becomes thin thread like chromatins. And finally here it comes the cytokinesis, which is the division of cytoplasm. Cytokinesis is the division of cytoplasm. Uh, it occurs by different method in plant cell and animal cells. In animal cells, it is done by the constriction method or cleavage method. In this method, a furrow is formed at the equatorial plane which contracts continuously till the cell divides into two diploid daughter cells. In plant cells, a cell plate is formed by Golgi vesicles at the equatorial region that separates the cell into two diploid daughter cells. So we can see in the diagram as well. So in upper diagram, we can see the cytokinesis in animal cell and the, in the lower one, we can see the cytokinesis that is the division of cytoplasm in the plant cell. Importance of mitosis cell division. It is essential for growth and development of multicellular organisms. The number of chromosomes in daughter cells remain equal to the chromosomes uh, in their mother cells. That is, mitosis cell division brings uh, uh, genetic stability. It plays role in the wound healing and replacement of old dead cells. It helps in the asexual reproduction of some plants and invertebrates. Next one is meiosis cell division. J. B. Farmer and J. E. Moore coined the term meiosis, but the cell division was discovered by Boveri in the plant cells. It is a type of cell division in which the mother cell divides into four haploid daughter cells. It is also called reductional cell division because the number of chromosomes is reduced by half in the daughter cells as compared to their mother cells. So here is a diagram showing the meiosis cell division. It is reported uh, in diploid cell. It is reported in diploid germ cells or reproductive cells of the sex organs. The cells undergoing division are also called meiosis, meiocytes. In this division, two successive karyokinesis and a single cytokinesis involved. The first karyokinesis of this cell division is called meiotic first and the second karyokinesis is called meiotic second. Both meiotic first and meiotic second have four e stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase which can be seen in the figure as well. First one is uh, interface, next one is prophase, 
third one is metaphase and finally anaphase the stages of meiotic first are discussed below so the uh, first one is prophase one, uh, one prophase first it is the longest phase of meiosis cell division which is further divided into five sub stages first one is reporting next one is zygoting third one is pachyting fourth one is diploting and finally fifth one is diakinesis first one reporting it is also known as thin uh, thread stages the normal number of chromosomes appears but they are very thin with granular chromosomes without any division into chromatids in reporting stages second one is zygotin which is also known as the pairing stage here the chromosomes thickens and shorten forming a homologous pair pair of identical chromosomes that is one is parental and another is uh, one is paternal and another one is maternal uh, third one is pachytin which is also known as the thick thread stage the pair chromosomes becomes four stranded called tetras crossing over that is actions of pieces of chromatids occur in between two sister chromatids that is the chromatids connected with a different centromeres in a homologous pair the process is also called overlapping fourth one is diploting which is also known as the double thread stage the overlap chromosomes begin to separate from the pairs but the overlap non sister chromatids are still connected at a point called chiasma plural of chiasma is chiasmata and for last one is diakinesis which is also known as the moving apart stage the overlap chromosomes move apart from each other and terminalization that is movement of chiasma towards the end of chromatids takes place second one is metaphase first so here is a diagram showing the metaphase first uh, in metaphase first nucleus disappears completely and formation of spindle fiber is completed we can see that in figure as well overlap chromosomes come to the equator plane uh, as shown in the figure and all and are arranged in such a way that their arms face towards the equator plane as shown in the figure and the centromeres face towards the pole here in metaphase is say each chromatid face opposite pole spindle fibers attach to centromere of chromosomes centromeres of chromosomes line up in the middle forming the equatorial plate next one is anaphase first the overlap chromosomes separate from each other but their centromeres do not break to divide their chromatids spindle fibers contact to as the poles which pull the separated chromosomes to as the poles in anaphase first centrosomes with uh, centrosomes so as shown in the diagram centrosomes with centrioles is spindle fibers bivalent chromatids and the centromere so here it comes the telophase first the double stranded chromosomes reach the poles and the formation of two haploid daughter nuclei takes place spindle fiber disappear but the cell is not followed by karyokinesis rather it goes to interkinesis for the further division as meiotic second as to occur we can see in diagram as well nuclear membrane reforms and cytoplasm is starts to divide so so here is one question uh, why meiotic second is also known as a me, uh, meiotic mitosis cell division a meiotic second is also known as the meiotic mitosis cell division because the prophase uh, second metaphase second anaphase second and telophase second are very similar to the respective stages of the mitosis cell division but the division occurs in the two haploid nuclei that cause the formation of four haploid daughter nuclei significance or, uh, or importance of meiosis it plays main role in the sexual reproduction of organism it helps in evolution by bringing variation it helps to repair chromosomal disorder as well it also helps in the alternation of generation of haploid and diploid generation of plants comparison of meiosis and mitosis mitosis occurs in all organism except virus similarity 
uh, occur in uh, plant and animals meiosis occurs only in plants animals and fungi mitosis creates all body cells like blood cells meiosis creates only uh, sex cells like sperm cells uh, next one mitosis involves one cell division meiosis involves two successive cell division so similarity between them is it starts with a diploid parent a parent uh, cell mitosis cell the uh, mitosis produce two diploid daughter cells meiosis produce four the haploid daughter cells and similarity between them is produce new cells uh, mitosis uh, daughter cells are genetically identical and uh, in meiosis daughter cells are genetically different so similarity between them is cell undergo DNA replication. Mitosis cell division uh, creates human cell with 46 chromosomes, whereas meiosis it creates a human human cell with 23 chromosomes. So differences between meiosis and mitosis. Uh, meiosis gamete formation for the sexual reproduction, whereas in mitosis so growth, development, tissue re and repair, tissue repair. Uh, in meiosis cell division, number of division is 2 and in mitosis, uh, number of division is 1. In meiosis, so chromosome number it is haploid that is n, whereas in mitosis, chromosome number it is diploid that is 2n. In meiosis, genetic variation is high due to crossing over and uh, random assortment, whereas in mitosis, genetic variation uh, is uh, completely absent. The genetically identical daughter cells are formed. Uh, in uh, meiosis cell division, uh, daughter cells uh, are genetically diverse, whereas in mitosis, the daughter cells they are, are genetically identical. Uh, meiosis uh, cell division has different uh, stages like prophase 1, metaphase 1, uh, anaphase 1, telophase 1, cytokinesis 1, prophase 2, uh, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, telophase 2, cytokinesis 2, whereas mitosis uh, cell division it has stages like um, uh, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, cellophase and uh, cytokinesis. In, meio uh, in meiosis cell division, homologous chromosomes separate in uh, meiosis 1. Uh, in mitosis cell division, there is uh, no separation of homologous chromosomes. And uh, by this we have completed the uh, first part of uh, this unit that is cell division. Hope this video was useful to you. If you like this video, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you have any queries, drop the comment in the comment section. See you on the next video. Uh, thank you.